Just weeks after the Spurs celebrated their first championship in 1999, they found out the devastating news that one of their stars was suffering from kidney failure, a condition that he had quietly been dealing with for years. When my numbers came back after that 93 season, uh, and that's when all the problems started, right after the playoffs, uh, you know, I didn't feel that great, and, and it was something that the doctor said was progressive, so I was probably feeling tired uh, pretty much that entire season. And, you know, that uh, kidney disease was pretty much the same for the entire time until 99. On August 16th, Sean checked into Methodist Specialty and Transplant Hospital to undergo a kidney transplant with the help of his brother, Noel, who donated his kidney, and the skill and care of Texas Transplant Institute and Dr. Francis Wright. I knew Francis Wright had been highly recommended. I had spoken with him several times before. Uh, my nephrologist, uh, Dr. Reinick, had recommended Methodist, and so uh, I knew that I could trust them. Well, it was pretty miraculous that uh, he was able to do things like make the miracle shot uh, uh, there. He was dealing with a significant burden of kidney disease at the time with uh, uh, anemia and uh, uh, metabolic uh, uh, abnormalities that uh, can significantly affect your performance. But uh, he was able to rise above all of that and uh, uh, help lead the Spurs to a championship year and then uh, come back and have a brother who's a champion in his own right uh, who could donate a kidney and uh, uh, then uh, we had our champion team here so uh, we all came together and uh, have uh, enjoyed seeing a great outcome from that. Well I knew that I was in good hands. Uh, they had done uh, numerous transplants before. Uh, they were very helpful in the lead up and after and during the whole process uh, because I wasn't, mine wasn't so simple. I was in the hospital for a little bit longer uh, with some complications and they were on top of it and they just, uh, you know, they took great care of me. I wouldn't be here without them and obviously my brother. What followed was historic. On March 14, 2000, Sean Elliott returned to the court, marking the first time a major sports athlete was able to return after receiving an organ transplant. Well, I think the fact that he played for seven years with this disease uh, and it got to the severity that it did and that he received the transplant, and that he survived all of that, and that he worked himself back into playing in the NBA as nothing short of a miracle. The return was a victory for many. Not only Sean, not only the team at Methodist Specialty and Transplant Hospital, but for those in need of transplants and the proper care. Kidney disease is rampant here in uh, South Texas, and Sean has provided an impetus for a living donation. We've got uh, wonderful family support often in, uh, in San Antonio, and uh, Sean was one of the reasons we began to emphasize our live donor program, and it's grown to be the largest in the country since uh, around 2009. And last year, we did over 200 living donor kidney transplants, the first time any program in the country has done uh, more than 200 uh, live donors. 